Those who are traveling from Erbil to Kirkuk have to cross this checkpoint. It is guarded by the Kurdish Peshmerga and the Iraqi police. There are two authorities here. It has been this way for years, but the balance of power seems to be shifting. You always needed an Iraqi visa to enter Kirkuk, which lies outside the autonomous region governed by the Kurds in northern Iraq. The Iraqi police at this checkpoint didn't want to let us through, but we managed to enter Kirkuk. The Kurds have the final say here. This oil-rich province has long been disputed territory, claimed by Baghdad and the Kurdish regional government. Now, the Kurds no longer feel obliged to answer to a central government weakened by a Sunni rebellion. They plan to hold a referendum for independence from Iraq, but there is opposition, not just from the Shia-led government. Kirkuk Sunni Arabs say they won't accept a divided country. We want the government in Baghdad to leave power, but we don't want Iraq as a state to collapse. State institutions should be preserved. The Kurds don't have the right to decide our fate. But Kirkuk has new borders. Its Arab districts are in the hands of Sunni armed groups after they push the Iraqi army out. Kurdish Peshmerga forces have moved into other areas once controlled by the government, and their political leadership has made clear they have no intention of leaving. This has angered the Arab members of Kirkuk's provincial council. They may not support Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki's government, but they say they don't want a divided Iraq. Yes, the Peshmerga deployed on the front lines to protect these areas from the armed groups. We thank them for that, but this shouldn't mean anything has changed. But a lot has. The government has lost influence here, and the Arab districts of this province are now on the other side of a new dividing line. The president of the Kurdistan regional government, Masoud Barazani, may have been right when he said there is a new reality on the ground. Zana Khudr Al Jazeera, Kirkuk.